Party starts right now. Time to get lifted. Cut the vibes on lockdown. So don't get it twisted. Cause I came to dance. Teach me how to move. Put up your hands. And let's start the groove in. Heyo, my beauties! Are you ready for another day of reading? I know I am because we are going to be flying some kites today with Bear and Mole. Now, in this book, they are going to fly a kite because it's the perfect day for flying a kite. What do you think makes the perfect day to fly a kite? What type of weather do you need? Yeah, you need a windy weather, right? Without it, that thing is just gonna go nowhere. But bear and mole run into a problem. Yeah, something happens. And I'm not gonna tell you because we're gonna find out in the reading. And then after, we're gonna do some writing about reading and create our own kites, okay? Now, remember, we've been working on that magic word sequence this week, and that is focusing our attention on the beginning, middle, and end of the story. It's important that we can think about those things because it helps us to really dive on in to all the things we can take out of the story. Like a delicious meal, honey. You just, just take it all in, all right? Well, we're gonna talk about it at the end and let's get it started. Follow me. Today we're gonna read Kite Day, A Bear and Mole Story by Will Hillenbrand. And like we were talking about before, Bear and Mole have a beauteous kite and it's the perfect day for flying but then something happens to it -da -da. we're gonna find out okay remember that sequence and remember the characters those story elements right the characters the problem the setting solution all of those hasty things that we talk about as readers and it helps us to be better thinkers all right y'all get those bodies ready to move it and groove it let's do this let's get it started kite day a bear and mole story Bear looked at the sky could it be he wondered he tilted his head up whiff 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 he smiled and then shouted kite day bear rushed home huff Puff, huff. Come on, Bear waved to Mole. Kite day is here. Bear collected. Mole studied. Bear snatched. What do you think they're doing? Yeah, they're getting the materials to make a kite. Bear measured and cut. Mole drew. They both constructed. Finally, they raced outside into the meadow. The kite flew, zoom, zoom, zoom. It soared up, up, up. Then dark, heavy clouds rolled in. Rumble, rumble, rumble. <gasps> what do you think's gonna happen? The breeze grew into a gust. Then snap, the kite string broke. <gasps> How do you think Bear and Mole are going to feel? Away, 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 spun the kite. Oh no, screamed. Save that kite, shouted Mole. The two ran. Hurry, 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 urged Bear. Urged. That's a tricky word. Yeah, urged means like you want something badly, right? What does he want? He wants to hurry and catch that kite. Mole stopped. He tilted his head up. Splat, splat, splat. Rain pelted. 
the broken kite. Look, cried Bear. Oh, sighed Mole. Chirp, 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 squeaked the chicks. I love how this author has so much language that sounds like a real sound um, something would make, right? Chirp, chirp, chirp. What do you think? Thank you, sang the mother bird. Look at that. The mother bird had something beauteous for her nest, honey. Awesome. Did you guys enjoy that story? I know I did. Could you believe it? All right. Well, we are going to talk about that sequence, honey. So think back. What happened in the beginning of the story? That's right. Bear was out and about. He was ready. He said, it's kite day, honey. It's a perfect day for flying a kite. And they get the stuff to make the kite. Mm -hmm. Then, what happens in the middle of the story? Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. That's right. There was a big storm cloud. Oh, and the kite went snap. And the kite went missing. Yeah, that sounds kind of like the problem of the story too, right? Mm-hmm. Bear and Mole had no idea what to do. So they started to look. And we come to the end of the story. What happened at the end? Yeah, they found it in a bird's nest and the bird was using it for home. So that made it kind of like a solution, like it was all better, right? Because it was helping the bird and her babies. Well, now that we finished the book and discussing all the hot topics about it and sequence, we are going to create our own kites with a little directed drawing and writing, okay? Get that paper ready, get that pencil ready, and follow me. Don't let the wind take you. Whoa. Now we are going to write and draw about our own kite day, okay? And I'm going to help you a little bit to draw a kite. All right, let's get it started. The first step we're going to do is to draw a T shape. So you're going to go down, and I'm going to do it kind of to the side because I want to make my kite look like it's flying. Excellent. The next thing is you're going to connect the dots, kind of, so the top point to this, and then the bottom, and so on. So I'm going to show you that, and then you can try it. Okay? So you're going to go down, boom, another connect, another connect, and another connect. Excellent. Then you're going to create a line for the, the string. So you're going to go down like so. Very good. Now, if you want, you can add some bows, whatever you like to them. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I'm going to maybe add a bow. So you're going to add like a triangle to the side and another triangle to the side. Very nice. And then you can write about your kite. So I'm going to write my kite. K I look at that super E at the end, that long I sound. My kite is blue, bull, bull. Block. We learned that. Bl blends. Blue. It. It. Flies. Flies. It flies in the sky, maybe? In the high frequency word sky 
here. Awesome job, guys. I hope you enjoyed this writing about our reading today, okay? And you create your own sentence and your own beauteous kite. I hope you enjoyed our session today. And I'll see y'all later. And don't forget to dance. I'll see y'all later.